Oh, I just did a whole video without the mic on. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? What's up, Extreme Gains family? I'm Chuck. This is Extreme Gains. I am not a financial advisor. Nothing I say is or ever will be financial advice. Please do not take it as such. Today is Wednesday, July 6th, 2022, and this is my AMC, GME, and SPY Elgo Exposed Daily Update and Preparation Video for tomorrow and beyond. As always, I hope you all had a great day in the market today, and I hope you took advantage of this crazy extreme volatility and made some extreme gains for yourselves. I'm going to go over all my regulars, my snake elgo method for all three tickers and some macro comparatives. So with that said, let's dig in. Real quick, my extreme gains for today. My scalp setups on the seven tickers plus some puts on AMC. It's never a part of my seven tickers, but today it was. And obviously some calls on SPY today landed heavy. I had another monster day. Extreme gains fam premium discord had an absolute monster day as well congrats to all of you it is well deserved the scalp setups alone provided 16 entries from trigger highest roi being 95 percent then i had a 60 a 50 and from there down to 10 and a slew of them to round out that list super happy super grateful as always for those and i say it in every video and i truly mean it i hope you all were able to do something similar and make some extreme gains for yourselves. On your screen real quick as well is my micro intraday snake on SPY. It was a two piece today due to the mirroring that happened at the end of the day. Crazy volatility on SPY. The micro intraday had it locked down completely today with a fulfillment of its projection. AMC likewise, I did erase AMCs to be able to look at these intra week snakes. So moving on to those currently on your screen is amc and my current potential upcoming intra week snakes amc finished the day today down 1.64 percent currently up 0.56 percent in after hours trading at 1264 we talked last night if price action were not to continue downside to around the X marks the spot after it got caught up with a bounce here where the third pool is and it were to potentially consolidate and show volatility between the 12 and $13 level, I would consider it a diversion from the current intra week snake and its future projections and clip the day of and day prior to like I always do for a potential new intra week snake moving forward. And that is exactly what AMC did today with its price action. Started off the day, got flushed heavy downside, V-shape recovery right back up with that volatility, price ranging between 1216 and 1288 pretty darn close and therefore i clipped the day of and day prior to so before i do that the previous snake for record did project and fulfill almost candle for candle throughout its entire seven day fulfillment and seven sessions 100 percent until its diversion yesterday after market close so i clipped day of day prior to so here we go here is day prior to and with a full one day overlap, I did have this on my chart and showed premium Discord members in our private live stream today prior to market open. So we had the luxury of watching this thing fulfill itself today. You can see the overlap projection and fulfillment as well as all of today, candle for candle. And moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action were to continue to fulfill the day prior to excuse me then i have the day of divergence which is today once again a full day overlap and projection and fulfillment candle for candle of that and all of today you can see moving forward into tomorrow and beyond what price action may look like if it were to follow and fulfill the projection from this current day of clip that i have on here moving forward so both of them on here you can see the difference between the two of them yeah dummies up and down up or down every single day that is what it is my friends all right uh you can see the difference between the two of them moving forward if price action 
were to continue to fulfill it should be rather easy to identify if we end up consolidating out through the middle of these and the only reason i say that is if you take a look here it does look like this price action is essentially mirrored imaged of itself here to a certain extent prior to this leg up so if price action were to replicate that movement either one side or the other of the mirror but run it right down the middle then that is something we will deal with if and when that happens however looking at them straight up right now moving forward into tomorrow and beyond should be pretty easy to identify so that is everything that i am looking for and with uh, regarding amc and its potential current intraweek snakes moving forward then the macro comparatives for amc as you know i've been using the previous double bottom right next door here in two different positions the flipped and the straight the blue is the flipped that is what we have on here this is currently in the compressed position and you can see the projection fulfilled to the downside the bounce back up and you can see the projection moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action fulfills it compressed like that then i had also shown this to you in more of a extended pool and you can see the projection fulfilled and what it would be moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action were to continue to fulfill it. The only difference between the two extended and uh, compressed position of this flipped version is the timing in which this starts its ascent up out of this two candle wick down bottom. So if that's what we just got today, then it looks like it starts tomorrow according to this. If not, there's some consolidation in an ascending manner prior to that happening before we start that ascent back up that's the difference between the two of them and the characteristics that i'll be looking for moving forward regarding that specific macro comparative version then the straight up position of the same double bottom right next door is like so and we fulfilled the projection to the downside today the bounce up looks like it came a little bit premature but nonetheless moving forward it is still intact and you can see what the projection would be if price action were to continue to fulfill it into tomorrow and beyond that is everything i am looking at with amc up next is gme gme finished the day today down 2.33 percent currently up eight 0.75 percent in after hours trading at 127.70 due to the acceptance of the share split uh by the board of i believe directors board of directors for gme so you can see the movement up was projected 100 percent by the current intraweek snake that is on your screen and obviously moving forward into tomorrow and beyond it would require this to pull itself right back down to around the 117 ish level here and that pivotal support that i had talked about in last night's video to which we received the v-shape recovery prior to the after hours movement here today regarding that intraweek snake let me remind you this snake has been projecting and fulfilling for over four weeks now it is due for a divergence and a potential new snake clip happening so if price action were to continue upside i will be clipping new day of and day prior to to look at to take a look at moving forward i will show you those uh if and when that were to happen otherwise this is what i will be looking for from a projection uh, standpoint according to the intro week snake moving forward into tomorrow and beyond i did throw a tweet up regarding this as well go check it out show some love like i said in the tweet it almost looks as if this was planned <clears throat> all right the macro comparative for gme as you know is from the previous double bottom just like amc and i have used this in both the straight and mirrored position here is the straight position of this right there and you can see the projection to the downside and back up initially was fulfilled around the 117 and this after hours move has diverted from this 
on the short term time frame right now regarding this moving forward into tomorrow and beyond obviously it would require that rejection and continuation to downside if it were to continue to fulfill this straight up position of the macro comparative moving forward i did briefly talk to you about this being in a level changed position and set up and this bottom potentially being put in above the 117 to get the continuation to upside from there and the only reason i said that is that the second part of the tweet that i did put up and if there's any need for any kind of validation or confirmation this is a long-term projection that i have had on this chart for quite some time where i thought maybe either the actual split or the acceptance of it by the board would take place and we would see some price action. As you can see, I was three days off, excuse me. And I did post that up there. So with that being said, looking at the way the macro comparative was positioned i thought that that may be something that would become relevant here in the future and it looks like it may be happening we'll see if we get the continuation of fulfillment in this level changed bottom like that moving forward into tomorrow and beyond obviously anytime i have something in a, as far as a macro comparative uh, or snake in that manner and we get a diversion directly in the opposite direction of what the projection was projecting i look at this in the mirrored position because it appears to be potentially mirroring that movement so if we get a continuation of mirroring this is also on my radar that i am looking at obviously this would require a continuation to upside rather directly right now obviously unless this is a suppressed version of it and it comes back down in here which would be the exact same thing as the level changed bottom so that is everything that i am looking for and looking at with gme moving forward into tomorrow and beyond last but not least spy spy finished the day today up 0.34 percent currently up an additional 0.07 percent in after hours trading at 383.50 the current intraweek snakes that i am looking at are the day of and day prior to still due to them having replicated projections for a period of time this is the day prior to and you can see the projection from it was fulfilled and moving forward into tomorrow and beyond you can see what the projection would be if price action were to continue to fulfill the day prior to divergence intra week snake on spy the day of divergence a little bit different and this is where they differ this and i talked about this in last night's video as well has a little bit of room for some consolidation up here right there well right there it is where it's at currently and you can see that moving forward that's what it appears to be prior to the next leg down so moving forward into tomorrow and beyond that is what i will be looking for from the day of divergence potential intro week snake for spy now briefly with the macro comparative i want to bring something back to your attention long ago if you all remember the long term version of this that i was using i put it off to the side it prolonged the bottom of this being fulfilled out until the end of this year which is around the november uh area according to the current placement on it i'm bringing that back into the equation and i want you to see this and why here is the overall macro view of that and real quick i want to show you how these mirrored inversions work and happen you can see here that price action was projected to the downside in that w manner and it fulfilled to the upside so if i clip that and i flip it and reverse it here is your projection fulfilled but to the upside a complete mirrored inversion of what the projection was so i'm okay with that as well as this has never been a candle for candle projection it's always been a generalized perspective of macro movements for a projected suggested path okay uh so i am okay with those invert mirrorings and this is the long-term version of this 
And the only reason I am looking at this, we have this ascending level of support that is holding up currently. And if it were to continue and not reject back down like the current position of the macro comparative that we've talked about for weeks now, that it has been fulfilling uh, rather well for weeks now, then I want to have something ready in the spirit of trying to be out in front of this thing at all times. So moving forward into tomorrow and beyond, if price action were to continue upside to right around where I put my manual neckline for this W formation uh, a week ago that provided that rejection off of it last week, then this is what I will be looking at moving forward with you on these videos as a potential macro comparative position of the 0809 replication happening in real time. Then the position that we have been viewing it in for quite some time. I'm sorry, right there you go, is like so. And we started getting up away from this downside leg that it is projecting. We put in the little bit of downside and we were expecting this upside move short term however i would need to see a full-on macro translated rejection to the downside in a big way moving forward for this to continue to fulfill this now it doesn't obviously like i said have to do it candle for candle but i am looking for that rejection and fulfillment to downside if this were to stay on my radar as a valid position of this macro comparative moving forward so that is everything in a nutshell that I am looking at and looking for with AMC, GME, and SPY and everything I have for this video. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you very much. I appreciate it greatly. I will get an update and prep video out tomorrow night after market close, just like this one, like I always do. Do good tomorrow in the market. Make some extreme gains for yourselves, and I'll talk to you all on the next one tomorrow night. Enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll talk to you all then. Later.